Talmud Bavli Gmar Brachot, Perik Shishi, Chapter 6, Daf Mem Mem Hey uh, Amud Aleph. Uh, that's um, page 45a. We're just going to start from the last few words on the previous page. The Hashotem Mamla It's More Let's See Ma O It's from the Mishnah, one who drinks water uh, for his thirst. The Apple What does it exclude? Amar Rav Idi Bar Amin, Rav Idi Bar Amin said, "L'apoke leman." This excludes the person. Uh, now we're at the top of page forty-five. A de tenakte de sorry de chanakte unza, who is being choked by a piece of meat, meaning he's using using the water to dislodge the meat. And the final part of the Mishnah, Rabbi Tarfon on their borin for shot. Rabbi Tafon says, the one who creates numerous living things and their deficiencies. Uh, and some say, Rav Yosef, what is the halacha? Uh, meaning, should it Meaning, should it be Shahakol or Berina for short? Amale, he said to him, Puk Chazi Mai Ama Devar, go out and see how the people conduct themselves. Meaning, uh, it has been accepted that the common practice is to recite Shahakol and Bore Nefashot afterwards. That's what Rashi says. Hadran alech ketzad achim. We shall return to you ketzad mivatim. That's the end of chapter 6. And now the Mishnah of chapter 7. Mishnah. Three who ate together, meaning they ate bread together. Chayadin lezamin are required to join in zimun. Achal damai, one ate damai bread. Umas erishon shenitla trumato, mas erishon who's mas erish from that's from mas erishon whose truma had been taken. Maaser shne sheni vehekdesh shenif. Shiniftu, uh, or Masasheni, or consecrated, uh, that were redeemed. That is consecrated produce that was redeemed. Shamash she'achal kazait, or the weight ate an olive's volume. That that is an olive's volume of bread. Vehakuti or a kutian, meaning a kutian came to uh, eat with him. Mizamim alav, they join in zimun on account of him. Aval Tevel, uh, one eight Tevel. These are items listed that are prohib prohibited for consumption. Or Maserishon Shilon Nisla Trumato, Maserishon whose Truma had not been taken. Or Maserishon Iva Hector Shilon Nifto, or Maserishon your consecrated uh, that were not redeemed. The Hashamasha Halpachot Mikazait, or the later ate less than an olive's volume of bread. The Hanachri, or a Gentile, meaning a Gentile white woman, and Mizamni Nalav, they do not join in Zimun out of him. Nashim the Avadim Uktanim, women, slaves, or miners, ate bread. And Mizamni Nalehen, they do not join in Zimun on account of them. Ad Kama Mizamni, what is the minimum amount, of, uh, minimum amount to join in the Zimun? Meaning, uh, what's the minimum amount of bread? In order to join in the Zimun, Ad Kazait, at least an olive's volume. Rabbi Yoda Amer, Rabbi Yoda says, Ad Kabeta, at least an egg's volume. Now we're going to start the Gemara. Menachane Mile, from where is this matter derived? Amar Ravasi, Ravasi said, De Amar Karad Gadlu la Hashemi Tim and Ramam Hashemoyatav. The Tanakh states, declare the greatness of Hashem with me and let us exalt his name together. 
Rabbi Abahu Amar, Rabbi Abahu said, Mehachar, Mehacha, from here, Kishem Hashem Ekra, Havu Godel Elokeinu. And I call it the name of Hashem, ascribe greatness to our God. Amar Rabchanan Baraba, Rabchanan Baraba said, Minayim Le'onel Amen, from where, uh, from where do we know concerning one who answers Amen? Shelo Yadbiha Kolo Yotem Min HaMevarech That he should not raise his voice above the one who recited the blessing. Shnei Mar Gadlu LaHashem Itu Nerem Mashim Oyachtav For it stated to clear the greatness of Hashem with me and let us exalt his name together. This uh, implies that the Amen should match the blessing uh, the volume of the blessing or the, <coughs> or the loudness of the blessing. Amar Rabbi Shimon ben Pazi, Rabbi Shimon ben Pazi said, Nain she'ein hametagem rashai lehagbiha kolo yote min hakoreh. From where does the translator, is he not permitted to raise his, boy, his voice above that of the reader? Shnema, Moshe Rabbi Veheh for it stated Moses would speak and God would respond to him with a voice it was not necessary it was not, necessary, uh, it was not uh, stated with a vo stated with a voice meaning it, it didn't need to say the word, use the word bekol what then does the Torah teach by saying with a voice using the word Bakol? Bekolo shel Moshe, meaning with the voice of Moshe. Meaning that God responded with a voice equal to that of Moshe. Tanya Nami Hachi was similarly taught in a Brisa. Ein hametagem rashai lehabia kolo yotem min hakoreh. The translator is not permitted to raise his voice above the reader. The im i and if, if it is not possible for the translator to raise his voice to the level of the reader, the reader should reduce his voice uh, and read, meaning he should, the reader should reduce his voice to the level of the metagem, of the translator and read. It was stated, two who ate together, Pligo Rav Rabbi Yochanan, a dispute between Rav and Rav, Rabbi Yochanan. Uh, so they have a dispute about people, two people who ate together. Chavamar, one says, Im Ratulism and Mizamnim, if they want to, they may join in Zimun. The Chavamar and the other and one says, the other one says, Im ratzulezamen ein mezamnen. Even if they want to, they cannot join in the zimun. It's not. We learn in the Mishnah. Shlosha shachuda keachat chayavin lezamen. Three who wait together are required to join in zimun. Shlosha in shneim lo. Three indeed, but two no. Hatam chava there the requirement. So. In that case, it was a requirement to join in the Zimun. Hacha Reshut, and here there is an option. Meaning that uh, when two people eating together, they have an option of joining in the Zimun. Tashma, come learn. Three who wait together are required to join in Zimun. The Ein Rashaim. Le are not and are not allowed to separate and are not allowed to separate meaning they say they're not allowed to separate and say that they're kind of not individually because they should do the zimon. Shosha ain shunaim law. Three indeed need to join in Zimun and two do not need to. Sha'ani Sha'ani Hatam, there it is different. Dekavu Lehu Bechova Meikara, because three were originally subject to the obligation of the Zimun. Tashma, 
Kamnai. A shamash shahaya meshamesh al hashnaim, a waiter who is waiting on two. Hareze ochel imahem af al pishalon nagnum loreshut, may eat with him even though they did not grant him permission. Hayam meshamesh al hashlosha, he was waiting on three people. Hareze eno ochel imahem, ela in kain nagnum loreshut, he may not eat with him unless they grant him permission. Uh, the understanding is that he can join him without the permission with two is because they would, the understanding is that they would want him to join in the zimul. Sha'ani hatam, there it is different. I'm just going to turn the page. Because they are pleased to become subject to the obligation, meaning the obligation of, of the Zimu. Tashma, Kamlo. Nashim Mizam not Laatman, women join in Zimun by themselves. The Avadim Mizam Nim Laatman, and slaves join in Zimun by themselves. Nashim the Avadim Uktanim, women, slaves, and minors, uh, they can eat together. Imratulism in Mizamnin. If they want to, they may not, they don't need to join in the Zimun. Veha mea nashe kitre gavre de Mayan. Now, 100 women are similar to two women. Meaning, uh, even with 100, they're not obligated to join in the Zimun. The Katani nashe mezamnut, Latsman, Babati, Mezamnin, Latsman. Yet the Brisa says, women join in Zimun by themselves, and slaves join in Zimun by themselves. Shani Hatam, there it is different. De Ika de for there, um, for there, meaning with three women, uh, there is enough, that uh, they have the, uh, they're mindful to form a quorum uh, for they have a quorum to to uh, and are mindful to make a zimun. Ihachi if so, aim a sefer. Consider the latter clause. Nashim vavdim imratul lezamin aim lezamnim. Women and slaves, if they want to, they may not join in zimun. Amai law, why not? Baha ikadeut. Why there is there is certainly uh, there is certainly uh, mindfulness. Mindfulness to join a uh, quorum for Zimun. Shani Hatam, there it is different. Mishum Krit Sutta, because of promiscuity. Tistayem to Rav to Amma Imra Tulezamen and Mezamne. Let it be determined that Rav, who said, if two men want to, they may not join in Zimun. The Amar Rav Dimi Bar Yosef Amar Rav, for Rav Dimi Bar Yosef said in the name of Rav, Shlosha Sha'achluk Achat, three who ate together, the Yatai Echad Mehem Lashuk, and one of them went out to the marketplace, Kor in law, the remaining two call out to him, Mezamnim Alav, and they join in Zimun on account of him. Tama de Kor in law, the reason is because they call out to him, Ha lo Kor in law, they should not call out to him, Lo. Um, they may not. They may not join in New Zimun. Shani Hatam, there it is different. To Ikav Lulehu Bechove Mikara, because they were originally subject to the obligation of doing New Zimun. Ela Tistayem. Let's go scroll down a bit. Ela Tistayem, rather let it be determined. To Rabbi Yochanan, who de Amahim Imratulism in Emezamim. The Rabbi Yochanan is one who said, If two men want to, they may not join in Zimun. To Amar Rabbi Bar Chana, Amar Rabbi Yochanan. For Rabbi Bar Chana said in the name of Rabbi Yochanan, Shnaim Shach who Kachat, two who are together. Echad Mehen Yotzeb Bevir Kat Chavero. One of them can discharge his obligation. Um, uh, by his fellow's blessing, meaning he can listen. 
the Havinanda, and we analyze this, make her marshmallow and what does Rabbi Yochanan teach us? Tanina, we have learnt in a bracer, Shama Velo Anaya, so one who heard and did not answer has discharged his obligation. Lama Rabbi Zera, Rabbi Zera said, Loma Shein Birkat Amazon Benehem, to say that there is no there is no Zimun blessing. Rabbi Yochanan is saying there is no Zimun blessing between them. Indeed, let it be determined, meaning Rabbi Yochanan is the one who holds the two people may not join in the Zimon. That's the conclusion of Gemara. Amar le Rava bar Rav Huna le Rav Huna, Rav bar Rav Huna said to Rav Huna, the ha Rabbananta atu mi ma Rava Amre, but the Rabbi who came from the West, I guess from Eretz Israel, said, im ratulizam in mizamnim, if if they want to join in Zimon, they may join in Zimon, meaning two people who wait together. My love to Dishmiya Lehu Merabe Yochanan, is it not that they heard from Rabbi Yochanan? Rabbi Yochanan lived in Israel. Lo, no. Dishmiya Lehu Merab Mikame Denachit Levavel. They heard it from Rav before he descended to Babylonia. Gufa. The text itself says, Amar Rav Dimi Bar Yosef, Amar Rav, Rav Dimi Bar Yosef, said in the name of Rav, Shlosha Shach Lokacha, three you ate together, Viatai Echad Mehem Lashul, and one of them went out to the marketplace, Kori Lo Mezamim Malav, the remaining two call out to him, and they join in Zimon on account of him. Amar Rav Ayabai said, Vehud Zekaru Le Ve'ane, this is where they call out to him, he can answer, and therefore join in Zimon. Amar Mar Zutra, Mar Zutra said, and this was said only with three people. But with ten people, excuse me, unless those who departed uh, uh, actually come back. I believe that would mean come back of their own free will. So therefore the quorum is not valid for ten. But they can make the quorum for three. Mat Kifla Rav Ashi, Rav Ashi objected to this, Ad Rabba, to the contrary. Icha Mistabra, the opposite is more reasonable. Tisha Nirin Kaasara, nine, they appear like ten. Shnaim Ein Nirin Kishlosha, two, do not appear like three. <coughs> What's the reason? Since ten people must mention the name of him and in their zilun, uh, they say the word Elokeinu. Batir ma'asara lav orach ara. Less than ten, it is inappropriate. Amar Abaye Abaye said, Nekitinan, we have a tradition. Shnaim shach lo kachad, when two ate together, mitzvah le chalek, it is preferable them, for them to separate. Meaning they say their prayer, their um, uh, bracha chrona separately. Tanya nami hachi, it was taught similarly in a brisa, shnaim shach lo kachad, when two ate together, mitzvah le chalek, it is preferable to separate. Bame. Bamed varim amorim. In what does this statement apply? Where does this apply? Kesheshnehem sofrim when both are scholars. Abal echad sofer echad bor. When one is a scholar and one is an ignoramus, meaning one is incapable of reciting the Karamazon on his own. Sofer mevarech uvor uvor yotze. The scholar recites the blessing and the ignoramus fulfills his obligation. Amarava, Rava said, Ha Milta Amrita Ana, the following thing I said on my own. Vitamra Mishme de Rabbi Zera Kevati. And a statement was reported in the name of Rabbi Zera concurring with me. Shloshashach lo kachad, three who ate together, Echad Musiklish name, one interrupts for the two. The Ainsh name, Mafsikin Lechad, but two do not interrupt for the one.
below uh, meaning don't to interrupt their meal for for the sake of one who joins their zimon interrupt their meal vaha rav papa avsik leila abba marbare why rav papa interrupted for his son abba mar ihu vachad it was rav papa and one shani rav papa rav papa is different De lifnim mishurat hadin poda ava, for he went beyond the letter of the law. Meaning, Rav Papa interrupted his meal in order to honor his son. That's a comment from Rashi. Just scroll down. Yehuda bar Merevar Umar bar Rav Ashi Rav Ech Acha Nidifti bar Karche Rifta Bahar Bahade Hadore Yehuda bar Merema Mar bar Rav Ashi and Rav Acha of Difti, they all like break together. Lo Hava Behu Had Hava Muflag Mechavre, there was none among them who was more distinguished than his fellow, than one of his fellows. The Varuche Lehu. And to recite the, in order to recite the blessing for them. Amre, they said, had this none, that which was taught in the Mishnah, Shloshasha Hulka had Chayvin Lezamen, three who ate together are required to join in Zimon. Hane Mirlehe had the Ika Adam Gadol, this pertains where there is a person who is great, Abal Heche Dehi Hadare Ninhu. <clears throat> but where they are equal to each other, chiluk brachot adif, separate blessings is preferable, as opposed to a collective blessing. Barich inish lenavshe, each one recited bekaramazon for himself. Atu kame to marema, they came before marema. Ame lahu, marema said to them, Yede bracha yatzatem bebrakat hamazon, requirement ye fulfilled. Yede zimun lo. Yet satem, the zimun requirement you have not fulfilled. Vechi temu ne dar unizamen. And if you shall say, let us go back and, res and recite the zimun now, en zimun lemafreya. There is no zimun retrospectively. Ba umatan umetaan keshehen mevachim. Someone came along and encountered uh, as they were reciting a blessing, meaning someone came along and encountered a, th a group of three people and as they were doing a zimun. Mahu Omer Achrehem, what does he say after them? Rav Zvid Amar, Rav Zvid said, Baruch Omavarech, blessed and blessed, uh, blessed and, uh, and he will be blessed. Rav Papa Amar Rav Papa said, Oni Amen. He answers, Amen. Below Plige and Rav Zavid and Rav Papa are not in disagreement. Ha de Ashkechinu de Ka Amre Nevarech. This is where the person encountered them as they were saying, uh, as they were saying, Nevarech, uh, as they were saying, let us bless at the beginning. Vaha de Ashkechinu de Ka Amre Baruch. Whereas this, that is Rav Papa is where he counted them, and they were saying uh, Baruch. They were saying blessed. So Ashkechin who took Amri Nevarech, if he encountered them as they were saying Nevarech, Omer Baruch Mavarech, he says Baruch uh, Mavarech. Ashkechin who took Amri Baruch, if he encountered them as they were saying Baruch, One Amen, he answers Amen. Tani Chada, who is taught in a brighter, Haone Amen Achar Kol Birchotav Hareze Meshubach, one who answers Amen after after his own blessings is praise, praiseworthy. Betanya Idach, and it was taught in a brighter, Hareze Megune, he is despicable. 
Lokasha, there is no difficulty. Ha Bebone Yoshalayim. This is uh, the Amen uh, after a blessing is in respect of the blessing uh, Bone Yoshalayim. That's uh, uh, roughly halfway through the Berkat Amazon. Ha Bishabrachot. And and uh, he's despicable uh, if he says Amen in any of the other blessings. Abaye ane le bekala. Abaye would answer aloud. He would answer amen aloud after saying bane yerushalayim. Ki hechi del bishmo chalim v'leikumo. So that laborers should hear and get up. Meaning they would get up and the laborers would hear this and return to their work, their work. Tehatov v'hametiv, and in regard of the words, uh, sorry, Tehatov v'hametiv love d'oraita, and the word Tehatov v'hametiv is not uh, biblical in origin, um, and therefore the labourers were exempted from uh, from hearing it, its recitation. Rav Ashi ane le be bilchisha. Rav Ashi would answer Amen in a whisper. That is after Bani Yerushalayim. Ki hechi delo nezalzelo behatov vehametiv. So everybody uh, should not be lax with uh, with hearing hatov vehametiv. That's the end of Memhebet.